Hey, what's up, guys? It's Death Grip Zero and Zatoichi Thirteen, and this is our Let's Play of Parasite Eve Two. Now, if I'm counting correct, this is part thirteen. Uh, lucky number thirteen. Okay, so this is going to be the hardest episode to record ever. After the last episode, I, <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think the only thing that would make it any this harder than the last episode would be a lightning bolt striking your computer. So let's. Uh, Get going. Let's walk down these steps here. As you can see, Kyle is following us. He has an M4A1 with a pike, which so is a compact flamethrower. Mind if I move the screen in a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, adjust if you need to. Uh, all right, we're going to move on in. Uh, as you can see here, there's something laying there. Kind of, I guess it's trying to do sit-ups, but it only has one arm and no legs. So that is a deformed chaser. Uh... I'm trying to get in shape for my girlfriend. It's a desert chaser that is missing about, I'd say, about 70% of its body. Uh, so let's uh, just walk over here. Uh, they, they're they pretty useless. They just kind of just flop around. and Oh, and uh, when you do uh, constant like damage, like full auto weapon or something, they uh, giggle at you. <laughs> and uh, Carl is actually useful for this segment Ken. of the game. Yeah. Kyle, Carl, uh, I don't even care Chris. anymore. Chris. <laughs> Kung Fu Car. Kung Fu Car. Let's I recommend anyone who has never seen Kung Fu Car will look it up. That was the last lesson of the day. <laughs> Let's go over here. Uh, this thing is probably the most dangerous of the deformed enemies. It is a deformed brute. Uh, it can attack at long range with its little, little stretchy blade arm. <laughs> and uh, has a little breath attack that uh, knocks you back for a second. These things uh, in groups can be pretty problematic. So is your goal just to let Kyle do all the work? Yes. Oh, sometimes the uh, deformed uh, sucklers fail in their explosion and uh, just inflate and disappear. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we're going to switch it back over to my M4A1 hammer because I am wasting grenade ammo. Uh, all right, we're going to go over here and hammer his ass because I hate this thing and I don't feel like fighting it. As we can see, uh, Heath Ledger. Ah, Heath Ledger today? Okay. Yeah. All right, very well. We are playing as Heath Ledger. Um, we, well, we're already Jack Nicholson, so. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, it's a it, good variety. Let's climb up this ladder here. Uh, last uh, episode, we fought a very, very, a very attractive young young man. In a field of flowers. I mean, I'm sorry. We fought a giant, fucking, horrible, fat monster in a, in a pile of trash. And then we also fought the glutton. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. No. Oh, it's a joke. Uh, uh, you know what? Fuck you. You're the glutton today. Oh, you, you fuck you. <laughs> and let's uh, hit him with a combustion. Boom. I hate him. I want him to burn. Boop. Cleanse him with holy fire. See, look at that. You just pulled it right out of your ass. You know right out of the butthole. So that's where you keep your ammunition. So, uh, the one thing we should be aware of for this episode is to keep you away from the prescription drugs. Alright, uh, as you can see, I have to enter a, uh, password. Uh, we're actually going to do this puzzle. Uh, we're gonna f try and find the... Ah, an inspection panel where there's a memo attached. Check the... F Check for occupants before opening the floodgate. Let the rats, roaches, and spiders down, drown. But first, count their legs. Enter, their to enter the total and raise the lever. So, uh, let's go back and look at that. Rats, roaches, spiders. How so many legs? Four, ten, eighteen. <clears throat> Add it all together. That's eighteen. Yeah. That's our password. There are ones digit. You have to use your math skills. Wow, this this is this is oh my god. Uh, there are better puzzles in Hello Kitty's Island Adventure. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them are pretty simple. Yes, yes. I I. I I don't like games with really complicated puzzles. I don't like sitting there staring at a puzzle for a half hour. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to go through this gate here. And this gate is going to take us to a very familiar location. Uh, you'll notice the sewers here. Then the water is not really there. Oh, shit. And what do we have here? 
Oh, look at you. Oh, you smug motherfucker. Uh, that is a uh, bog, ch uh, bog diver that is stranded. He can no longer swim because he has impotent little baby legs. Ooh. Kyle is just... Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to let you guys see this thing flop around in agony and suffer because this thing's have annoyed me since they've been introduced during this Let's Play, and he has to go and just burn it. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Thanks. So, I have a question. Yes? What would it be like to eat a ShamWow? I don't imagine very pleasant. My cat just shook her is just shaking her ass. I gave her a little I gave her a little <laughs> Okay, my cat is being really weird, guys. Uh, uh, acrobatic. It was kinda of funny, I like tapped her with I my think foot. She sees a bug or something. I tapped her with my foot and she like freaked out. Here you actually just kicked her in the spleen and she is about cur currently dying of organ failure. Okay, well that's good too. Can I eat her? Go over here. Uh, yeah, the water is in here, so water hasn't just, been here all time, the entire time. So this looks interesting. Boop, boop, boop. Baby, come back to me. I swear I won't poop on your face no more. Baby, come back to me. Uh -huh. Defecation's not the answer. I can't remember the uh, solution to this one. This is the full moon gate. Enter a tens digit. I think it's uh, 15. Let's try that. Yep, it was 15. So, fuck whatever the clue is. Because <laughs> I just remembered what the password was. Well, can we still find out what the clue is? Nah. Because... I honestly can't even remember what the clue for this this is, so it's actually kind of a good thing that I remembered the password. Hmm. Well, I mean, you could have figured it out easily. Well, I mean, not easily, but you'd have to put in up the 100 digits. Yeah, we don't have time for that. Oh, yeah, we do. What do I think this is? The, uh... Hey, it's the internet. There's time for everything. <clears throat> Alright, uh... Go through this gate here, and... Look where we are. Uh, I don't know. Those are the sewers under dry field. And, uh... I just heard, uh, well, Heath Ledger just heard Flint barking, so we're going to leave, uh, Kyle behind. Fuck you, Kyle. Let's see what Flint wants. Oh, the good boy. Uh, now, this is one of the reasons why you need Flint. It's because if you haven't pl is if this is your first play through the game, uh, play through the game, he, uh, shows you something that you need to see. going to follow Flint here. He's telling us to come out here through the door where we had to get the, use the magnet to get the key. Gonna follow. <laughs> Go through the gate here. Uh, there's a uh, deformed chaser swinging from the uh, railing here. We're going to kill it because why not? Move. Zap. It's giggling at me. <laughs> Item obtained. We get a belt pouch from killing that guy. Ooh. Pretty uh, interesting payoff for such a little effort. Uh, Alright, we're going to go up the ladder here. And as you can see, there's somebody on the other side of the tower. And he is surrounded by mine sucklers. So we need to... Take care of that right now. Oh my god, it's Matthew Broderick. It's not Matthew Broderick. Channing Tatum? What? George Clooney? Nope. Michael Jordan. Alright. Uh, we're gonna. Michael we're Jackson? Gonna... And, uh, we're gonna talk to him, and it's Pierce. If you remember him back from the, uh, beginning of the game. Oh, he's the one with the Pierce penis. God damn it. Hmm. Pierce, no! No. Don't get your hopes up. I'm fine. Oh. oh damn! I wanted you to die too. Fuck you. Now is this where they kiss? No. Uh, currently, uh, Pierce is wounded. Oh fucking hell! You noticed that? I actually never noticed that before. His model here has actually a little bit of blood dripping down from his uh, forehead. They apparently gave him a little bonk on the head. They're called <laughs> brain sucklers, right? Yes. So they suckle brains. 
Yes, but, uh, unfortunately, they didn't find much sus sustenance on Pierce. Oh, they were they were starving. <laughs> uh, still walk, blah blah blah, and I uh, he's tired. I love you. I came here to rescue you. So you can't go saving me. Stubborn as always. So I have, uh, I have another question. Yes. Do you think while we're over here we could find that uh that the holy water? Uh, I don't remember the pa the the combination of the lock, but uh, you want to try? Oh, by the way, uh, Pierce just handed us his SUV key, which was apparently in his mouth. He spit it into his hand and handed it to me, so that's a little lovely of him. Well, he thought maybe, like, the brain sucklers were kind of, like... I guess they thought they were going to steal his car or something. Yeah. So he just stuffed his keys in his mouth, oh. like, instinctively. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird if he was actually dead, like, you come up here and find key find Pierce with, a with his car keys in his mouth. Like yeah. a giant hole in his head. <laughs> uh, he, he, the, 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 the questions that would come to mind... <laughs> What the hell happened here? So, uh, we need to find something to uh, help Pierce uh, with his wounds. So, uh, you'll notice there was a uh, ice machine earlier in front of the motel, so we're going to go get him some ice. Oh, I thought you were about to say, you'll notice there's a brick wall, so we're going to take a brick and put him out of his mouth. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Smash his face. All right, uh, it's but uh, we're going. Basically, we have to run back and forth three times from the ice machine to Pierce to get ice to him, so we can uh, s stop his bleeding, I suppose. <clears throat> yes, he. Well, he took a blow to the head, so. Uh ho ho. Uh, thing is, you have to be very quick about you have to be quick about this. You can't you can't tarry around while you're uh, carrying the ice because it will melt and turn into a bag of water. Take this, you fucking desperate punk! All right, so first things first, we have to uh, t clear the enemies for our path. Going to use the same path, obviously, for all three runs. Uh, we're just going to kamikaze into these guys to get, move things along here, and then plasma once they gather around me. That was pretty much a waste of a MP. All right, there we go. All right, and uh, that ends that encounter. So we can uh, go to the ice machine and make love to I actually, body. thinking about it, I without the strategy guide, I wouldn't know fuck about this game. Really? Yeah, that's that's how I learned how to play this. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even known you knew you needed to use the ice to uh, save Pierce. In all honesty, this game is pretty cryptic and stupid. Like, the puzzles are easy, but, like, the simple... Yeah, some of the tasks are a little bit cryptic. It's... Some of them. I'm pretty sure most of these tasks are pretty cryptic. Well, a lot of the stuff, uh, like, like, like the things that happen in the shelter just happen during your general exploration of the area. Yeah. I mean, not all the tasks, but... A lot, a lot of it just comes naturally as you're exploring. It's more or less just a problem of poor game design. <clears throat> like oh. a lot of games are poorly designed uh just basic flaws like a poor game design yeah, would same, be like one the same of rules apply for resident evil games as well no i'm not saying they're successful i'm not i'm not saying that it makes it a bad game like it's still it still could be a good game it's just like simple things like bad puzzle design bad level design bad controls may not make it a bad game but like if there's enough of them it makes it a bad game like maybe it there's, has like there's also the whole issue of do video games nowadays jerk your dick for you while you play them so yeah they either jerk your dick or there's no end to the game or it's as a uh, yeah it's the reason you don't see uh, strategy guides anymore yeah. oh every every time you bring ice to Pierce he gives you an item but as you were saying uh, quoting Yahtzee uh, games these days. Well, actually, I think it was Gabe. Games these days are basically just a sightseeing tour. Look, look, look. Let's be honest. I I'm gonna be honest. I enjoy playing the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, but it's it, Cock of Duty. But it's honestly, a lot of it's kind of just sightseeing. Like, look at what we can do with our special effects. Yeah. In Call of Duty, I can sit there for, I can sit in a little little cubby hole and wait an hour and nothing will happen. It'll just be like, come on, we gotta keep going to the objective. 
It's like, no, games in this era, games like PS1 era and early PS2 era, punished you if you did not do what you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it. Like right now, because we have to save Pierce. And, like I was saying, this game may have terrible, like, uh, may have cryptic uh, tasks and terrible puzzle design, but like it, it doesn't does mean... give you the pleasure of actually once you figure it out you you actually feel like you accomplished something you didn't follow an objective marker to where you had to go. But that's yeah, but that's the that's a plus side though. That's what makes it not a bad game. Like once you figure something out, it's like this the the feeling of success. Like I'm about to do the Castlevania playthrough and there's so many fucking things in there that if we didn't know about them already. Oh yeah. Well, no no, we we didn't know about them originally. We had we actually had to explore and deduce everything for Castlevania Symphony of the Night ourselves. Yeah, so, like, but that was the fun of the games. Like, I remember when the doc- Doppelganger 40 was a brick wall and we couldn't get past him. Yeah, that was the fun part of games. In all honesty, it's like, even games like Skyrim and Fallout today, they are they really are just sightseeing tours. I wouldn't say so much about Skyrim and Fallout, but, but I definitely agree with you on COD. It's, you basically just follow some guy and shoot at some things and... But I mean, with, with, falls off your with face. Skyrim and with Skyrim and Fallout and like Oblivion and games like that, it's all about there's the too many s- sandbox games nowadays. There's too many sandbox games which ruins the effect of them. I do enjoy sandbox games though. I don't like following linear paths. Oh no, that, that that's the good part of having like open world. But like one of my main problems with Skyrim was it was so big and so beautiful that the gameplay itself was bad. I just the gameplay about it. I did not like the feel of it. Kind of agree with you. It did. It, it did. It, the gameplay to Skyrim did have a bit of an awkward feel. It just game developers today focus on so much of the bigger and the prettier, and don't focus on the content. If you look at two D games like this one, this one's barely on the board, barely three D, barely. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the backgrounds are flat, and you're just moving from perspective to perspective. <clears throat> Well, yeah, that's how uh, games like this Final Fantasy, all the Final Fantasy games, Resident Evil games, they were all done with this method. But, like, they focused on content. They did what they could with this, but they, they didn't have billions and billions of dollars, or millions and millions of dollars spent on making this look realistic. I, that's why, that's why with this channel, I want to do older games. Or, like, indie games. Where indie games are all content. Yeah, they don't have time to fuck around with, uh... Sightseeing tours on the on most indie games, uh, but uh, we're about to bring the final bag of ice to uh, Pierce. Let's grab it out of the uh, ice chest here. I'm sorry if I went off on like a tangent on that, but I mean, uh, yeah, I feel like you you can't help we're get, but like, like fifty. We're probably gonna if we get enough subscribers one day, we're probably gonna get fifty comments about how we said the. The gameplay to Skyrim is awkward. It's like, how dare you say it the is? gameplay to Skyrim is awkward while you're playing Parasite Eve 2. No, it mm. is. It, it's awkward. It's like saying Super Mario sucks while you're playing Battletoads. Battletoads is actually pretty good. <laughs> Have you ever played Battletoads? No. It's a fun game, but it's difficult to fault. But, like, the, the problem the problem with... It's like, if you look at Skyrim or Fallout, like, you can have fun playing them, but there's just... It's... <clears throat> It's like there's nothing, there's not a challenge about it. Like I, I honestly kind of found Scar, uh, fall, the Fallout uh, New Vegas and Fallout 3's uh, graphics to be a little flawed. I, I thought the environments looked very, very dumb. Oh, like, I mean, it, it's like, but they put so much effort into it, and it's like, it takes away, think about, think about when you're playing Fallout That 3. ice was so good, Pierce is actually healed before we get it to him. It's funny, because we have to, if we actually take too long with that, we'll bring him a bag of water and he won't be okay. <laughs> it's kind of. I brought you a drink. Here we go, and he's dead. <laughs> Can he actually die if you don't? If you oh. take too long? Ah, uh, yes, he he will die. Oh. I think if you actually bring him a bottle, a bag of water, he will die. Pretty, that's pretty interesting. But like, I just uh, we have to make room for this uh, item here. Let's spend this belt pouch, oh, oh. and we'll get the uh, Ofuda off of Pierce here. What's up? It's the uh, wind element uh, item. Yeah, let's use the Ofuda. It invoked antibody. We uh, now automatically got gained antibody. I thought you said it was wind. I, I thought it was the wind one. Maybe it's the earth one. Let's uh, 
use the uh, medicine wheel. I honestly can't remember what these are supposed to do. I'm, I honestly apologize for... Uh, Invoke plasma. Uh, yeah, there we go. We upgraded plasma for free. Uh, I'm honestly sorry about uh, not explaining these more. Yeah, we definitely should try to find that holy water then, because... Uh, I think if you equip them in their attachments, they buff the uh, abilities of, the, of their element, and if you use them, they... Uh, they level one up for free. They level one up for free for you. Do, do that. If we can find that holy water, we'll open. But it also, using those items actually severely uh, affects your uh, rating at the, at the end of the game. So I, I, if you're trying to go for a com perfectionist completion, I don't recommend doing that. Oh, okay. But uh, it, just do, it'll help with, the, uh, with speeding along the uh, parasite power progression for us. You know, here's another thing I'm thinking about for the... So we can d demonstrate more abilities during the let's play. For I mean I understand like uh, we I've been on this top we've been on this topic and it's not really relevant but I, I feel like this is a good topic instead of me just randomly making noises. Yeah, like the, the our entire episode of you telling pirate jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good episode. But so think about like so I, I had I'm gonna I had fun playing Oblivion. I had fun playing. Actually, no, I can't really say that, because I kind of... Like, Oblivion kind of killed it for me. Like, I had so much fun playing Oblivion. You don't have fun playing Oblivion. Oblivion has fun playing you. I had so much fun playing Oblivion that it just was not as much fun playing Fallout 3, and I couldn't get into Fallout 3, and then it was not as much fun playing Skyrim, and then I couldn't get into Oh, I, I, I walked in a Skyrim like a kid in a candy store. I was super excited for that game. I was, too. Like, I was really pumped, and I just... It just, like, hit me, and I was like... I played it, like, once... And I was just like, oh, well, this is great. And then I kept playing it, and I was just like, oh, okay. This is alright, I guess. But the problem is that they give gamers too much freedom. Uh, one of the... Just a random random thing to uh, bring up while we're on, uh, <clears throat> on the topic of Skyrim. Uh, everybody that uh, I talked to did, did a kind of a, I guess you could say, more traditional Dragonborn. Like, like uh, I, th I think Jay rolled a Nord, and... Uh, so did uh, Ray. Uh, this is like my first Dragonborn was an Argonian witch doctor <laughs> named Sings of Death. So uh, Sir Pratt is doing a black Khajiit named Ebony. <laughs> I also made a uh, a Khajiit assassin named Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, I just I miss the days. Oh, of uh, our old friend the Tactical Vest was here in the back of uh, Pierce's truck. Pierce's uh, SUV. Nice. Uh, I don't think it's as good as the... Uh... Oh, wait. I'm still technically in combat. I wonder what I'm in combat. Oh, wait. I think there's a uh, zebra stock. Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's uh, zap his ass because we don't like him. I mean, I just... Think I'm, not, I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying they're bad games. It's just... I miss games where it wasn't make your own adventure. Because those get boring after a while. Like, I, I can't... I can't keep making my own adventure. Because then it's just going to go the same path every time. Well, let's uh, actually do a comparison. We have a quick fire and HP recovery on the tactical vest with uh, seven attachments. It, it gives plus 50 to HP and plus 10 to MP. Uh, the PA, PASGT vest does Resist plus poison. 20 HP, resist poison, uh, has eight attachments, and... Uh, HP recovery... So, uh, actually, the uh, tactical vest is going to be the better option. Mm -hmm. So, we got to get some attachments going here. Doing a grenade pistol. And uh, mumbling a little bit, I'm sorry. Get some recovery items here. I always wondered what exactly what the recovery item is supposed to be. Like, nutritive tonic, that doesn't sound... It's not very descriptive. Like the, like from the other items seem to have a, have a more comparable real life. Oh, here we have uh, lipstick. It uh, adds plus one to your uh, maximum MP, and you the uh, if you keep it as an attachment, you resist silence. I like I like having I like that uh, that sort of option they have with most of these items where oh yeah you if you use them as attachment they have one effect and if you use them they they have a different effect yes yeah oh yeah that's that's actually pretty cool but like as as I keep trying to say before like actual things that matter to the LP are happening <laughs> make your own adventures fun for a little while and then it kind of hits sort of a wall you know 
Uh, to each their own. Well, that's for me anyway. Like, I, I enjoy structure. I I enjoy... Order. <laughs> Not so much order, because I still... But, like, games like... Let's dump off some uh, extra items here in the trunk. Games like this where, don't forget to drop off one of your ringer solutions, you should have one. I, I no, I dropped it off in the uh, case of the shelter. Oh, uh, there's... Uh, at the end of the game, they actually gather all of your uh, ca cases throughout the game, like Aya's trunk. Uh, the, there's a closet in the, in the uh, motel and uh, the back of uh, Douglas's truck. They gather those all together you, for you at the end of the game, during when the uh, final chapter begins. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just more of like a nostalgia factor, but... What would you say you had more fun playing? Games like Fallout 3 and Skyrim, or games like Parasite Eve and Resident Evil? Uh, honestly, I've, have as much as it's over, it's as, as it's an over, as it is an overused concept in games nowadays, I love the exploration factor of a, of a sandbox. I love just being able, just being dumped off into a huge world and just being able to do whatever the hell I want. I, I like that too, it's just, I feel like it's getting overused to the point where there, every game, like, Oblivion was pretty, like, was nice. It wasn't too big, there wasn't too much Talk, to do. Are you kidding me? Oblivion was huge. But, like, it wasn't, compared to, like, Fallout 3 and Skyrim? Yeah, it was bigger. I, I, I'm pretty sure Cyrodiil was bigger than the, than the Capital Wasteland. Um, but a lot of, a lot of Cyrodiil was empty. Not necessarily. They're 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 just usually about a um, a dungeon every half mile or so. Yeah, I mean, but like, Oblivion kind of like the per was perfect though, with how much you had to do, compared to, the size, like how big the game was, how long the game was. I don't think I'll I don't I don't think I've ever seen exactly how many quests are in Oblivion. I don't think I ever will. <clears throat> that, there, there was a ton of that, a ton of quests in that. And also for the sake, let's get it out, get it out there for uh, any viewers who end up becoming uh, regulars and subscribing. Uh, I'm not a completionist. I do not have the urge to always 100% my games and get every little last bit of drip of content out of it. So, <clears throat> yeah. Garrick, uh, Garrick got 100, or uh, got everything done on Skyrim, I think. Or not Skyrim, Oblivion. I think he did most things on um, Skyrim. Plus, I, li I like taking my time with stuff like that because because uh, if I if I decide to stop playing the game for a while, I can pick it back up and still be able to find something new to do and be like, hey, yeah, here's a quest I missed. Let's go, let's go do that. You know. But like for me, Oblivion had it perfect, and like Fall Three tweaked it and then wasn't like missed it a little bit, and then Skyrim was just so big and there's just so much to do. Oh yeah, I'll admit, uh, Skyrim was huge. It's just like, it's too big, it's too much. It's like, it's aggravating, you know? It's aggravating to think that... I like getting lost. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, I mean, it's so fun to explore and everything, and I like the idea of exploring, but it, it feels like there's just... They made the world so big, but they didn't give us, like, place... They didn't give us, like, vast areas to explore with dungeons and stuff. It was like... Here's a city, here's a city, here's this, 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 all these quests. Oh, just putting it out there, the rest of uh, Dryfield is just a BP grind at this point. We're, we're welcome to go back to the shelter at any time now that we uh, rescued Pierce. I mean, are we looking for the holy water right now or something? Uh, right now I'm actually going to go back and check on Mr. Douglas. Uh, we have a few red areas to still clear out. I think it's actually going to be uh, about the point where I want to begin the uh, BP grind for... Uh, actually, I think I should have started it a lot earlier, the BP grind for the AS-12. Yeah. Well, I mean, just... Everyone has their own preferences. To me, I prefer old games. I prefer game whatever. I prefer the way games were back in, like, the PS... Oh, shit. The uh, batteries on the uh, hammer are dead, so... It's not good. I, I prefer the way the games were for like PS1 and, and PS2. Now, uh, those of you who watch the uh, gameplay tips, uh, this is a good example of uh, high-level plasma. This is the uh, level 2. This is what I mean by you just stand there and spam the shit out of it. It has like no cost or cast time and you just and it knocks enemies over. So you can just sit here and just drain all your mana into just stun-locking a group of enemies that you don't feel like fighting and 
watching them die. Some men want to watch the world burn. Yes. We're gonna dive through this door here and uh, go around and check in Mr. Douglas. I think there might be some enemies out here. Probably uh, zebra stalkers, if anything. And the, uh, this is just me. This is my gripe with Bethesda. Bethesda. You mean? Bethesda. As oh, no zebra stalkers. That's what I meant to say, but I skipped the. Th this is just my gripe with them. They focus on making such a big world that they fucking fuck up everything. Have you ever noticed that? There's always glitches. Gameplay is pretty laggy. Game oh, play. don't even get me started on the, the bugs of uh, New Vegas. Yeah, I, I kind of feel where you're coming from. It's like Bethesda, Bethesda is so... I'm to pronounce Bethesda, damn it. <laughs> they don't deserve it. <laughs> Bethesda, like, I like I like the games they create, but they, they piss around, like... They basically, I consider, if say they put out a game every uh, two years, so let's give them an, a two-year period. They do Duke Nukem Forever in two years, to me, because they piss around so much that the game's so big and so Doesn't full of stuff. Do, 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 do Duke Nukem Forever? No, no, no. I was about to say, what the hell are you doing? No, no, no. no. Duke, Duke Nukem Forever for me is basically a way of saying a game developer fucks around trying to put so much stuff into a game that it just fucks up everything. Well, I hate to cut you short there, but uh, we have a few things here that are more relevant to the uh, LP. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Uh, Douglas's weapon uh, selection is upgraded. We have the, our good old friend from the Acropolis Tower, the MP MP5A5. Uh, as I may have mentioned, as if I mentioned in my uh, weapon gameplay tip, uh, if you watched it, is uh, I prefer the M950 over the MP5A5, so we will be not be not be buying it for this uh, Fuck LP. Me. Well, fifty. Oh, and it is worth every penny you spend on it. Trust me. Oh my God, that's gonna that grind is gonna fucking want to make me shoot somebody. Yeah, we'll we'll probably we'll get some off-screen grinding done. Oh, uh, it's all gonna be off-screen, but it's gonna take hours. I you know the enemies don't respawn. You just go go look at your map and go kill the red areas. Uh, here yeah, we have. Yeah, I mean it's gonna take four hours because what happens if you kill everything and you don't have enough? <clears throat> well. Oh might not get it anyway, because I, I, I kind of feel like need to get the M203 uh, so we can uh, have it for convenience, but you know, it's it's kind of a comfort weapon where you don't have to lug around the grenade pistol and the M, M, M4. You can lug them around as one. Uh, here we also have the pike. Uh, small portable flamethrower, custom M4A1 attachment. It's uh, what you saw Kyle using it back at the uh, third floor, the uh, ba third Floor ba ba blah, blah, blah. the basement third floor of the shelter. Uh, let's see, it was pretty damn powerful down there. Uh, here we, I don't think he. Oh, he has the EOD suit, uh, resist impact and resist paralysis uh, at HP uh, 100. And uh, he now also uh, he didn't upgrade his uh, item stores. He did upgrade his ammunition. He now sells hydras, uh, fireflies, and. Uh, Kind of curious as to I, I haven't used these in a long time. Let's let's give them a whack and we'll see what they do. A little experimentation for the uh, LP. You got quiet on me there, didn't ya? No, no I let, yeah, I let you get that all out. All right, uh, let's use the phone. Uh, save the game just in case any problems happen. That's why I think indie games are so good. You know? Yeah. Because they they're. They don't have time to dick around. Like, because if they dick around, then it's all loss of money. You know? Yeah. If a game like in Terraria, I would classify as an indie game. It, yeah, it, it was. They didn't have time to dick around. Like, if they screwed up, they lost money that they spent so long developing. But, all right, let's, uh... No, damn it. Let's try and get out this door. <laughs> I refilled my batteries my batteries for free, so my uh, hammer has ammo again. Uh, I don't I, I don't remember the clue for the uh, holy water safe is. I would like to do it though because we're trying to progress uh, water, and we're going to use it so we can show off more of uh, the parasite powers. We're not going for an uh, an uh, like an S rank perfection run, so. <clears throat> Honestly, if uh, it wasn't for the fact that I think I need them, I'd be saving the ringer solutions for uh, 
I mean, I wouldn't be so adamant about saving the Ringer Solutions. I actually, uh, when, when I was in my prime playing this game, I actually uh, beat the uh, final two bosses without using a single Ringer Solution, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I was trying to psych out my cat. Yeah. Oh, you're just a cute little cat, aren't you, Ricky? Go off. Go be Let's free. Go here. Free Let's Ricky. See, there's some mind sucklers. Let's uh, shoot the shit out of their faces. Shoot the shit out of his faces. Uh, let's knock their wings off, walk up, and step on their necks, as is tradition. Have you ever stepped on somebody's neck? Yeah, it's actually quite satisfying. Really? You're a sick, demented person. That's why I oh, love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I noticed the, uh, every time we go through a door here, the, uh, platform is actually bugging. It's, like, sh showing damage that didn't actually happen during the burner fight. Uh, by the way, Plasma is mean against the, uh, well, it's mean against any actual, any small swarm enemy. Stunlock them and, uh, just keep spamming it until they're dead. And my cat has come to visit us. So I have a question. Yes. News. I uh, you said you wanted. I know you wanted to do uh, this let's play. You wanted to do it pretty bad. Yeah. But if there was, barring any sort of difficulties or anything, if there was one game in the world right now that you could let's play for the channel, what would it be? Uh, let me think about that one, and I'll get back to you. It, it's actually a thinker for me. Because, I mean, like, this one was pretty easy because, like, you, you, this is, like, something you've been thinking about for a while. But, like, is there anyone out there, like, like, if we had just the ability to record whatever? What? Apache Leader, one of the last to fight with the... All right. Uh, let's do 1909. I think that is actually the password. Alright, uh... 18, uh, 1829. Uh, I think you com I think you have to combine them. Let's try, uh, 1809. Oh, I would try 1829. Try 1829? Yeah. Can it lock you out of it? No. So we could sit here and game 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 developers weren't that sadistic back then. Huh. I wonder what the number could be. Draw. Uh, what if try nineteen twenty nine? Um uh, Huh. What if you use maybe there's more clues around the room. Let's have a look. I don't know how the ledger goes this long without eating or changing or going to the bathroom. Yeah, this is one marvel of uh, humanity here. Uh, let's see, is there anything? Leave it alone. Maybe it's zero zero eight zero. No, I remember. because that's the subtraction between the two, and maybe like the the other two digits, the first two zeros. Are just are just like in there to make you think so. Since this isn't a, this isn't like a crucial item to the game. You know what? Uh, let's uh, I think it's internet, correct? Yeah, I can look it uh, up. Yeah, go look up the go look up the password just for the sake of getting this done. And you don't tell anybody. Yeah, even though this is actually on the recording. Nobody shall never know. Alright, oh. uh, we're gonna... Parasite Eve 2, Holy Water. Holy Water. Alright, uh, just for the sake of time strand, I'm gonna cut the recording and we'll get back to it. 
Okay, and uh, we have found out that it is 4487. I don't even know how I was supposed to get that. Maybe there's another clue I missed. Let's enter in that code. I wonder how you're supposed to des uh, deduce that. Yeah, there's probably another clue around here that I was too lazy to go find, so... Uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. We probably should have just added the numbers. Hold on, go back over there and add... Let me just add the numbers real quick. 4487. Oh, uh, no, there's no way it's the addition of the numbers. That'd be... That'd be a lot Let's less. go ahead and use the holy water. And, uh... Invoke metabolism. That means we can unlock... Uh, Mindr. Yeah, life drain is now is now purchasable. Uh, it'll cost three thousand to buy the first level of it. And uh, once we hit three thousand, because we are currently at uh, two thousand five hundred eighty-two, so we're pretty damn close actually. It's actually the first time around where I've uh, gained access to a uh, third ability other than Inferno first on a newbie newbie playthrough. Well, I mean, life drain seems pretty. Uh, life drain will be pretty useful. Thing is, I Inferno just does massive gobs of damage. Well, how close would we are we to getting Inferno? Or uh, we have to uh, level three uh, combustion. I think it's combustion. Yeah, yeah, combustion. We have to level three. How close are we to that? That then? Oh, that we need four K for that one. Oh, really? It's it's only level two. Yeah. Well, yeah. If it, if it, if it was level three, we would have access. I to mean, uh. I meant, oh good, it's level 2. I thought it was level 1 still. Oh, no, no, no. I level 2 that a little while ago. Uh, and the uh, the Crystal Skull is a little bit far far away, so we're not going to... We actually might be per using it to pr purchase a level of uh, Inferno. Instead of uh, getting to Inferno. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I feel like this, this episode's long enough, you know? Alright, uh, you want to stop that here? Alright, uh... Thanks a lot for watching, kids. See you next time. Peace out, guys.